the Baltimore Key Bridge collapsed after being struck by a cargo ship, leading to a tragic incident with several vehicles and construction workers involved. The collapse occurred after the cargo ship lost power and collided with the bridge, causing a section to fall into the Patapsco River. At least six construction workers are still missing, with two workers rescued from the water. The ship's crew issued a mayday before the collision, and rescue efforts are ongoing. The incident prompted a state of emergency declaration by Maryland Gov. Westmore, with President Joe Biden pledging federal support for the bridge's reconstruction. The National Transportation Safety Board is leading the investigation into the cause of the collapse, emphasizing the focus on the people impacted by the tragedy. The impact of the Baltimore Key Bridge collapse on the city is significant and multifaceted. The collapse has led to a state of emergency being declared, with six individuals missing and presumed dead. The closure of the port due to the bridge collapse has halted ship traffic, affecting over 15,000 direct jobs and roughly 140,000 jobs linked to the port. This closure is estimated to cost approximately $50 million a day in lost economic activity. The port, a crucial link in America's supply chain, handles a substantial volume of cargo, including cars, light trucks, farm machinery, construction equipment, sugar, and gypsum. The disruption caused by the collapse will have a ripple effect on cargo and commuter traffic, impacting not only Baltimore but also the entire East Coast. The collapse has also resulted in logistical challenges and traffic disruptions, with alternate routes being advised for commuters. The tragedy has prompted a transition from a search and rescue mission to a search and recovery operation, with the National Transportation Safety Board launching an investigation into the incident.